Howdy, 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 hoot. Howdy, 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 how the flip are you? Yeah, howdy, 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 how the flip are you? What the flip is up, Tube Nation? How are we feeling? You know, still recovering from yeah. Life is Strange yeah. and the fact that Gonzalo Martin witnessed yeah. your mental breakdown and uh -huh. posted about it. Um, if you guys haven't watched me before and you're just trying to get to the meat of this video, click here because I just want to update the tubers if you guys have been watching me for a while on my life just for a second. I haven't sat down and talked about my life. I've talked about Sean Diaz's life. But if you don't care and you want to get to the actual video, click right here. First things first, I'll eat your brain. No, I'm just kidding. But I chopped my hair off in a state of mania. <laughs> it's very short, but I have extensions just in case I get sick of it. But I did it myself and it's not that good. It's not the best, but she's kind of cute. So I definitely need to go to a salon and get it fixed because it's not even whatsoever. <laughs> But let's just ignore that for now. What's the second thing? Oh, right. I'm moving. I'm moving to Louisiana. I'm just kind of sick of this LA life. I'm ready for a new LA life. Get it? Louisiana. So yeah, that's gonna be exciting. I just want to be one with the cows and like one with nature. I'm just tooting with you. I'm just tooting with you. I'm literally moving five minutes away from my place right now. <laughs> You thought! But you guys have no idea how excited I am to move out of this dungeon. It was cute, but there's so much whack energy in this place. My new place is so nice, I could cry. I have a fucking office. But I think that the last video that I want to do in my little apartment here is just something so random. <laughs> This is not the type of content that I make whatsoever, but I just came across this ridiculous app and I needed to share. I don't know if anyone else have done a video on this. It's like a pretty new app. But first, before we get started, we do have a sponsor today, ladies. Today's sponsorship is the one and only ExpressVPN, y'all. So I actually use ExpressVPN every single day. I think Cody Ko talked about it in one of his videos and I thought it was fun and interesting, so I downloaded it. Without a VPN, your data is like a postcard. Just hear me out. Hear me out. It's like a postcard that can be seen by a bunch of people before it reaches your final destination. That's terrifying. But if you get ExpressVPN, your data is encrypted and sent through a secure tunnel. Similar to putting that postcard we just talked about through a very secure, tightly sealed envelope with a post stamp. And that's exactly why I use ExpressVPN. I want my private information to remain private. Luckily, ExpressVPN is super easy to use. All you gotta do is open up the app, click connect, and there you go. For some reason, Netflix in the United States doesn't have Family Guy, but if I wanna watch Family Guy, I just go to ExpressVPN, pretend like I'm in Canada, and then I can watch it. For some reason, Canada has it, but not us. <laughs> And there's tons of shows and movies on Netflix and on other streaming services that aren't available to you based on where you live. So you're getting access to all this new and fun stuff, baby. To find out how to get three months for free, just head on down to the little description box at expressvpn.com slash sarabasca. Thank you so much, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring this video, and let's get into it. So last week, I was laying in bed, right? And I'm on sleeping medication now because I actually have a chronic problem. <laughs> Turns out, anyway, that's some personal information. I took my sleeping medication, laying in bed, scrolling on Instagram, right? And I get an Instagram ad for this new app. It's called, what is it even called? I went on it one time and I got scared. Oh yeah, it's called Spoon. It's basically just an app where you can make friends that have the same common interests as you. You can start like a little mini podcast. I don't really know what the fuck, so I was like, I gotta check it out. It was like three. 3 a.m., which is the creepiest hour of the night anyway. You can post a little picture and then put a little text in the picture that says like, I love Star Wars. What's your favorite episode of Star Wars? And then you can
can comment, but you use your voice, right? So it's like an audio recording of all these people commenting their favorite shit. It's very uncomfortable because you can tell that everyone's also just laying in bed. It was all fun and games until I noticed that there was a lot of young kids, but then there's also older people too. It was just a very unsettling feeling for me. All these little kids responding and then like this four year old. I don't think there's any restrictions. So you can say whatever you want. I was literally laying in bed and my sleep meds were kicking in and I'm like, what is going on here? This whole entire video is basically just what I went through while going through the app for the first time while on sleep medication. <laughs> so there's this one guy that was on the app at the same time as me. So he was like going through all the ones that I was going through. So I was like right behind him, right? I went to his profile and he said that he was a failed YouTuber. So I really want to know who this guy is and if I even know him. What is up guys, it's ICB and I'm a failed YouTuber. But I hope you're having a good day. And he's honestly like the troll of the Spoon community right now. Or that night that I was on it. So let's just call the YouTube troll Billy. I don't fucking know. So this is the first post that actually makes sense. They put 18 plus because they realized that there's kids on here. Hey, how's it going? That was it. Howdy, how's it going, stranger? Uh, I just downloaded this. I don't know what's really going on, but I'm hella bored, so fuck it. What's up with y'all? How y'all doing? <laughs> Me! Uh, I just downloaded this shit. I don't really know what the fuck is going on, but... Everyone got the same Instagram ad at the same exact time, and this was the result. <laughs> this is what I had to contribute, I guess. What is your guys' childhood trauma looking like? And how are we like fixing it, you know? How are we taking those steps to overcome that shit? Actually, maybe that was too personal. <laughs> I'm just really awkward. Anyway, what are you guys up to? Way to keep it light. This stranger posted, someone just trespassed my property right now. I'm literally shaking right now. She's scared. Probably needs some comfort right now. So let's see what the people had to say. Hi, welcome to the Minecraft Christian server. It was me. <sighs> Relax, baby girl. Lego. Imagine being that girl that started this post and then just hearing heavy breathing. That is the scariest shit I've ever heard. I would recommend you grab a spoon. Just like how this app is called Spoon, it will protect you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> if you didn't notice, that was Billy, the YouTube troll. This is the point where Billy started pissing me off. It was when he commented on this poor girl's post. You should grab a spoon, <laughs> cause this app, it's like called Spoon. <laughs> Are you six? The next post is, how the hell do random people find this? <laughs> Because this is all on the home feed. The more people that interact with your post, it goes higher on the feed. If you're on the first page, then you're trending. She was clearly confused like the rest of us. People with no friends or who need somebody to talk to downloads this app. To go off what the other guy said before me, I was actually taking a shit and I got bored. I was like, what the hell? I'll just do it. And I found yours and yeah, I hope you're having a good evening, night, day, whichever it is. Thanks, Billy. Did we have to know that you're taking a shit right now? I don't know how people find it. They just find it. <laughs> Draco. I don't fucking know how people find it. They just find it. We've never been on this app before. I'm like, I don't even know myself. I'm just here. <laughs> that guy was clearly in the shower. You know what? I don't really know myself. Uh, I get really lonely in the shower, so just want to say what's up. How are y'all doing? So then this person posts, can someone just please help me go to sleep? I have school in the morning. Those emojis, she's pissed. So this is what people had to say. Uh, hi. I don't really know how to make conversation. But if it's early, you should probably go to bed. 
Okay. I stayed up almost all night just finding something to do things. Anyway, you take a rag, grab some chloroform, put it on the rag, then, boom, then you can go to sleep. What the fuck did this six year old say? Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, everybody? <laughs> guy this six-year-old responded to this other probably six-year-old to get chloroform and put it on a rag and then he just chimes in yo 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 what's up what's up everybody yo 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 what the fuck is good what even is this app <laughs> so this one is give me your best diabolical laugh <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> Imagine me in bed hearing that at three in the morning. <laughs> but he was like, this is my moment. This is my Joker fantasy. So this person just posted a goat. No question, no conversation topic. Is that your goat? Do you just love goats? Do you dream of owning a goat? Like, how do you expect us to respond to this? So this is what the people had to say. Hi, I am the weird girl that you heard. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <sighs> goat. The goats. Bah. <laughs> That's a sheep, I think. Fuck. Billy. So let's see what Sarah at 3 a.m. had to contribute to this goat conversation. Cool goat, bro. Does it dance? Apparently that's all I had to say. So this poor girl, her caption is, I'm ugly. <whistles> Girly, don't say that about yourself. But let's see what the people have to say. You're not ugly at all. You're literally so pretty. Since like, when were you ugly? Um, hey. Yeah, I don't know what this is about, but, uh... I hope you have a nice day, and... Now I gotta leave. Cause school is so great. Alright, bye. I'm ugly. Um, hey? Yeah, I don't really know what this is about, but I hope you have a nice day. You gotta go to school. <laughs> School's awesome. <laughs> Idiot! Hey, what's up? What you up to? I don't know. No! I'm just sitting here breathing, fixing to go live again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just sitting here breathing. Oh! So. Let's not befriend a six-year-old, please. For the love of God. If you have a younger sibling, check their phone and make sure that they don't have this app. This is so weird and so predatory. Like, it's so easy for predators to come on here. Ew! So all this person has to say is, Night. <laughs> Good night, Satan's daughter. Let's see what people have to say. Good night. Hope you sleep good. Yo, see ya. <laughs> Yo, see ya. Night, night. Get some good rest. <laughs> uh, from little tweet tweet bird. Hello, chirp. Nice to meet you. Hi. Good day. Bless you. Good health be upon you. Peace be upon your heart. <laughs> So he's on ketamine, or five hits of acid, <laughs> or just an actual serial killer, who knows. It's definitely one of the three, but what the hell was that? Imagine getting that message before you go to bed. I'm a little tweety bird. Good health be upon you, and peace be upon your heart. Not that. I hated that. Hated that. Of every inch of me. So now that we went through the spoon timeline and you guys got like a little feel of the app, I remember that night specifically making my own post. I don't quite remember what the post was about. I remember giggling a lot. 
in my bed. I remember the next morning I went back to the app and saw that it got responses, but I didn't look at them because I was waiting for this video. And I did this like a week and a half ago, so I literally don't even remember. We're gonna unpack that together and see what I wanted to ask the Spoon community for myself. So it looks like I used this picture of a crying blob not quite sure what that is and my title is can someone help me i need advice so it looks like i was really struggling let's see what i'm asking hi guys if you're listening thank you so much um i'm kind of going through something right now it's about my mom me and my mom used to have a really really great relationship and then all of a sudden, like a few weeks ago, I don't know what's going on with her, but like every single time that I'm near her, she just smells like poop. And I think she may have like a stomach issue where she's just like always sharding her pants. Even when I have friends over, they even say something to me. They're just always constantly asking like why it smells like poop. And I just don't know what to say. And I don't like know how to ask my mom without making her feel bad because I genuinely don't even think that she knows. Um, I really miss spending time with my mom and like wanting to hang out with her, but I'm just so done with just smelling like poop and I can't escape it. All I wanna do is just sit on the couch with her and watch a movie and cuddle with her and stuff, but she poops literally like every five minutes or something she's like healthy she's really young it's not like she's super old and just like poops randomly so we're just all really frustrated and i just don't even know what to do anymore <laughs> that's not true <laughs> my mom does not actually have a sharding problem i can promise you that please do not harass my mom or like joke about it with my mom my mom is a very sensitive sweet woman <laughs> even if you joke about that with her she'll cry because it's just simply not true obviously i was trying to sound like a little kid <laughs> like i was trying I was trying to sound a lot younger. So this is what the Spoon community has to say. Let's hear it. I would say just communicate with her and see if everything's all right, you know? But I don't know if that helps much. I'm going to be honest. You need to buy her a toilet or something to be installed near a TV. I'm not exactly sure what your problem is here, like uh, your situation, but man, that must suck. So. so I'm gonna give it to you straight. Uh, sometimes we all need the hard truth and here's the hard truth. Your mom puts up with your crap and put up with your crap when you were a kid. Well, you're putting up with hers now. Um, you can be honest, tell her, hey man, you know, could you like take the extra time to clean up? She's an adult, talk to her like an adult. You don't have to like hide it or run around from it. In the meanwhile, get yourself a bottle of Febreze. <laughs> we do all do things for people that we love. Yeah, you're gonna have to do it, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. That was some, like, solid advice. Hey. I know how you feel. <laughs> it's okay, okay? It's okay. Try and communicate if that helps. Try and talk it out. Move on. <laughs> he or she, I don't know who it is, is not worth your time if they're not willing to talk to you. Good luck. Move on? Sure. Yo, so let me start off by saying, um, she, uh, she definitely need to go to the hospital, like, that's not supposed to be happening to people and everything, but, uh, if, you, if you're letting a smell get in the way of you hanging out with someone that you love, uh, <laughs> I don't really know what I can tell you. I will tell you this. Go get her some help. Some of those responses were actually genuinely so sweet. <laughs> like they really cared. That was a pretty positive experience. I hope that that didn't come across insensitive. Like I know people actually have bowel issues. So I did not mean to offend anybody with that. I was just being so stupid. I'm deleting the app, never going on it ever again. I think that the app had good intentions, but the people who developed it didn't really 
think at all about safety measures, age restrictions. I feel like there's no one monitoring it. That concerns me. So if you have a younger sibling, go on their phone and see if they have the app and delete it for them because it's quite literally terrifying. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you had a little giggle. I'm terrified of technology. Love you guys. <laughs>